Okay, so for those who do not wish to watch too deep into this video, no. The game is not worth buying at the price that it's currently at, which is $30 or euros, like for me. So, now into the nitty gritty. The game as it is, is okay, it's playable. There are no real bugs in it and no predator monetization, but that is about it. It is okay. They did not upgrade or add upon too much from the first game. The issues that exist in the first game exist here too. Like for example, if you drop a goo ball, catching it is an ordeal. And even worse is that when you want to undo something, you have to chase the goddamn fly across the screen to click on it, while left click is also for moving the map if you hold it. And then if you need to undo a few times, you have to actually battle the goddamn fly, because it's running away from the mouse. I suppose they added that so you wouldn't accidentally click on it, but still, it's heavily angering feature. It really is not that hard to just add the button for undo, or at least that you can change to button or fly depending on how you want to play. So there is also a story to the game, but it's weak honestly, not to spoil anything, but it's genuinely not amazing in any way. There are a few funny signposts, obviously not as much as there were in the first game, but it's in the second game is just way too watered down for the price of the game. Now levels, they're not too hard if you're just looking to play casually, but the problem raises here that they have created it so they so that you would chase the challenges. One is timed, which I personally absolutely hate. Second one is always the amount of goo balls that you gathered. And third is the amount of moves that you use while doing the level. And honestly, that, that is a bad concept for a game that is not all that long. I finished the game in about 9 hours, with most levels taking about 5 minutes or less to finish without the challenges. And of course, I know that most people will not sit there for 50 or so hours just repeating every single level over and over again till they hit all of the challenges because it is a time waster for most and 9 hours is not enough for $30 even for casual play. I mean, you can go and buy Stardew Valley for $14 or less, depending where you are, and play hundreds of casual hours at your own pace. And of course they did not add for you to have a bonus level where you can just build the within an empty space like you had in the first game with the number of bonus goo balls that you have gathered throughout the whole playthrough. And even better would be if they added all of the different balls and not just the black ones. You can build with different balls that you gathered by simply playing the game. And there is one aspect actually that I absolutely loved and that was the, the detective noir levels in chapter 4. They're basically a noir novel type game where you do not build anything or chase goo balls really. You're just moving around, solving crime, everything is of course scripted and you have no control over the story but it is an absolutely amazing part of the game and it did surprise me very positively. And I will conclude here this short review. I do not recommend buying the game at this price. It does not validate it by almost anything yet. I do believe that it will be updated and new things will be added over time. And that it will reach price, this price tag in the future. But by that time for most people it will be the thing of the past and they will generally lower the default price probably because m m much less people will actually be buying the game and there will be too many discounts in the meantime also so generally I advise that you wait for a discount and if I had to put a price on it myself I would say around $15 is more of an appropriate value for this game right now at least 
I do understand that there is a lot of work that has to be put into making games and everything. But also I understand that there is a lot of work being put into earning money so you could buy these kinds of games. And for most people $30 is just an insane price tag and many would simply not be able to put aside that much, myself included actually. But again, f for the sake of nostalgia, I had to buy it and I cannot say that I'm all too satisfied with it. I mean, it it's a nice blast from the past and it does work, you know, it does hit that nostalgia tick that you have. But I, I have to say that simply this is not it again yet. So if you are buying it for nostalgia, I would rather wait for a discount. So yeah, that is about it. Like, share and subscribe. And of course, do not talk about Fight Club.